My name is Ray Nickel. I'm president of the Spokane Lake Garden Society. And it's the garden society who manages the Kohan Garden in New Denver. Uh, the garden started, the idea started back in 1989. At that time, Gail Brighton was on council, and this land had been a, a playground uh, for, for kids. And the playground was getting moved, so the site was up for grabs. So she knew I was one of the local gardeners, so she approached me and said, if you want this land to make a park on, you're more than welcome to do that. So I got together with some friends and we decided, yeah, we would do that. Not knowing that 30 odd years later we're still doing that, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so we decided, we went looking for a theme and we decided on a Japanese style garden. Mainly because when I first moved to New Denver, I had no idea about the internment. And I worked in a local grocery store. I met a lot of the Japanese Canadians. In those days, there still was quite a few of the seniors living around here and became really good friends with them and, and got to know their stories and realized what a, what a shameful thing it was that that all happened. And uh, so, and this was before the Nikkei Center, so there was no local history about this. So we decided we'd do a Japanese style garden, with a little bit of information, just to kind of keep the story alive in New Denver, that this had actually happened here. Fortunately, after that, the Nikkei Center happened, and that's got a wonderful story there. But as well, it's important that the, the campers come here, they see a little note, they say, oh, I want to learn more about the story. So they go on to the Nikkei Center. So that's why it's a Japanese style garden. So it's a little bit different. We use a lot of native plant material, um, some very traditional plants like the uh, Japanese flowering cherry, the Japanese maples, the irises, and then using a lot of, like over there, we have the willows and rhododendrons. There's a lot of rhododendrons because this country is really good for rhododendrons. It's mild and wet. And uh, so at certain times of the year, it's quite colorful. Other times of the year is more subtle. In the fall, we have beautiful fall colors. So it's got a little bit of interest year round. Uh, a few years ago, we put the Japanese, or the, not Japanese, the grass garden in. And that's very interesting because it's not really ornate or showy, but they're beautiful. Each grass is different. It's got purple leaves, it's got green leaves, it's got white seed heads, it's got purple seed heads. So we try to make the garden interesting for people with oriental tastes and people with, with western tastes. So there's always something interesting going on, and it's um, it's not you know showy and really bright and colorful, but it, it is beautiful in its subtle ways. So that's the Kohan Garden. Thanks, folks. Thank you.